Welcome to the latest episode of Origins, where we bring you the most current version of the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. This week we're going to be continuing our examination of the origins of the characters that are going to be featured in the Marvel Netflix series. That's right, it's time for us to examine the myth of a man, Luke Cage, hero for hire. Now, Power Man came out around the same time as big movie hits like Shaft, and Marvel, always trying to keep their comics relevant, decided that it was time to make a hero who embodied the essence of films like Shaft. So they created an iconic African-American folk hero from the streets of New York. We're talking about Power Man. So the story of Power Man begins with a man named Carl Lucas, who has a very uncharacteristic beginning as he just grew up on the streets of Harlem, deeply rooted into a life of crime. He found himself in a street gang called The Rivals where he befriended one of the men there, Willis Stryker, and they partook in petty thefts together, on behalf of a minor crime lord named Lord Hammer. He spent his youth in and out of juvenile homes and he desired to one day be the man giving the orders instead of taking them as a criminal racketeer. But as he grew out of his teens, he saw the foolishness of living a life of crime, and he decided to walk the straight and narrow, gaining a legitimate job. However, his friend Willis continued to work with Hammer, and The Rivals quickly rose through the ranks of the other gangs of New York. With Willis making a name for himself, this put a giant target on his back, leading to a mafia-style hit, where he would have died if Lucas wasn't there to keep him alive. The whole incident scared Stryker's girlfriend, Riva, and she broke up with Stryker out of fear of his violent line of work. Panic and confusion brought her closer to Carl Lucas, which led Stryker to believe that his one-time criminal partner and close friend was actually responsible for the breakup. So, in an act of revenge, Stryker planted heroin in Carl Lucas's apartment. He then tipped off the police, which led to the arrest of Lucas. Alone and in prison, and full of rage and fury, Carl Lucas caused several fights, and he even attempted to escape prison. So this eventually led to him being transferred to a much more isolated location. The Alcatraz-like Seagate Prison. It is here that the story of Carl Lucas takes another dramatic turn. Lucas was volunteered for an experimental cell regeneration program, headed up by Dr. Noah Bernstein. This science project, which was an attempt to create a super serum, was already being utilized to create other superpowered individuals, specifically one named Warhawk. But the process drove Warhawk mad. Bernstein aggressively experimented on Lucas, placing him into an electrical field conducted by an organic chemical compound. This experiment took place over a very long period of time, and so the doctor eventually left Lucas unattended, which allowed one of the bigoted prison guards to tamper with the experiment controls, hoping to kill Lucas. However, this tampering had the opposite effect. It actually imbued Lucas with super strength and durability. And with these new powers, he was able to break free from the experiment and escape Seagate Prison. Back on the streets of New York, Carl Lucas adopted the alias of Luke Cage and wore a very flashy costume. He set up his base of operations out of a movie theater in Harlem where he would take jobs from anyone willing to pay his price. And that is how Luke Cage became the hero for hire. Luke Cage is a very simple power set that can be explained very briefly. The experiments performed on him gifted him with super strength, which allows him to lift up to 25 tons. It also makes him a formidable foe against the evil doers on the streets of New York. His greatest power, however, is his durability, which makes his skin as tough as titanium steel. Simply put, his skin is unbreakable, and this can really suck when he sustains injuries that are internal because mundane surgery is impossible to perform on him. Thankfully, he also has an accelerated healing factor of sorts that allows him to recover from these battles. I hope you guys enjoyed the origin of Power Man, as he will be featured on the Jessica Jones Show on Netflix, and shortly after that, he's going to get his own show. In a future video, we hope to explore his epic team up with Iron Fist as the heroes for hire. But until then, check out the other videos on Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones once we upload that one. If you liked this video or learned something new, please give the video a like and follow us on Twitter at Comic Storian where we talk about everything. Also, don't forget, guys, we have merchandise now. Go to that front page and look at the link in the upper right hand corner and buy yourself a Comic Storian shirt. Show the world that you are a Comic Storian. I'm Benny, and I'll see you guys next time right here.